Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at um, passing values to functions. So here I've got the code from the last tutorial, and I'm going to start actually by changing this because uh, one thing I forgot to do in the last tutorial was rename this function. This function that we created uh, is um, it's called process selection, but it's actually just getting user input, and the selection is processed down here. So I could just rename it by hand, but let's uh, use an Eclipse shortcut, which is very handy if you've got a lot of um, calls to the same function, because you can call them repeatedly. That's part of the idea, and uh, you're not sure where they all are. So let's just right-click this function, select it, and right-click, and go to Refactor, Rename. And I'm going to give it a new name, so I'm going to call it, um, type in here, Get Input. And you'll notice Eclipse has renamed this for me as well. Now I'd like to split. Um, I'd like to split this code off into its own function. So I'd like main to just consist of three function calls: show menu, get input, and process selection. Uh, but at the moment, the problem there is we get the selection here, and then we have no way of um, passing it to. Um, a function that then process, processes the input. Let's have a look at how we can do that. So I'm going to type here void process, let's call it process, um, process selection, process input, it doesn't really matter, process selection. And I'm going to take this switch statement here, I'm going to cut it like this, paste it in process selection. And so the problem we have now is that uh, the selection variable here which is it's the, it's the user input that we get here, um, from here, is not available in process selection. And to make it available, we can type stuff in these round brackets here. So we want to pass an integer to process selection, and I'm going to type here int selection in these round brackets. And now, in the main uh, function, I can type process selection just as before with round brackets because it's a function call and we need we need um, to have the round brackets when we call a function as we have um, here and here and here. But now I'm going to just type in these round brackets selection. So the changes we've made are just we've, we're putting the in integer value that we want to pass into these round brackets here when we call the function and uh, we've changed the function here uh, so that in its round brackets it says int selection. It, this is actually declaring a variable and um, we call this passing a variable and when we pass the variable we're actually copying the value in this variable here, we're copying it uh, into this new variable here. So this int selection it's not the same as this. Again it's a completely different variable and the scope of this variable is these curly brackets while the scope of this variable is these curly brackets. So as we're returning, we're actually uh, creating a completely new variable and we're copying the value of this variable into this variable. And they don't have to be named the same either. So um, we could um, call this something completely different. Let's do that option. So if I was writing this program just for myself, I'd probably call this and um, this and this. I'd call them all input uh, because um, I'm, I'm well aware that those are completely different variables but because I don't want to confuse you here I'm going to give them all different names. Uh, so this int option receives the value from uh, selection here and um, it, it's, it's, it's a bit like uh, throwing a value down a chute so you can think of this as a chute and here we're throwing the value of this variable down the chute and here we receive it in the value uh, option and option it has the right size to receive that value so we're sending an int down the chute so to speak we're passing the function an int and um, the function parameter also has type int so it can it can receive that value we can copy that value into it uh, so now our, our main function looks really simple and it, and it shows you exactly what's going on. We're showing the menu, we're getting user input here 
and then we're processing the user input here, we're processing the selection that the user made. Let's just try that and check that it works. So I'm going to run this and when it finally builds and runs, let's enter a selection, let's say one, and it says searching because it's executing case one here. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we're probably going to look at passing multiple values to functions, but to practice this, again, I'd suggest taking the tutorial, uh, the project from the last tutorial and creating this new function. Try to do it without referring back to this source code, but if you get stuck, refer back. Uh, but try to do it as much as possible from memory. And equally, if you've written some other program, uh, just try to declare a, a function that, um, that accepts, accepts some kind of variable. You could return stuff from functions as well as passing stuff to them. So it's not a problem combining this kind of thing with this kind of thing. You can do that. And in the next tutorial, we'll look at passing multiple values to functions. So that's it for this time, and until next time, happy coding.